Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. So today we are going to continue with our uh, mini series about uh, RFID and RC522 module. And once again, this in front of you, it's code from our previous episode. So if you have not been following this mini series, uh, please watch at least few episodes uh, in order to jump into it. And subject for today is interrupt. So why interrupt is actually useful? And first I have to tell you that if you want to use interrupts uh, with your RC522 model, you have to use pin IRQ. And in our first video I didn't connect that pin because we didn't have any use of it. But for this episode please connect that pin uh, to your microcontroller. I have used uh, my pin uh, D2 on my ESP8266 microcontroller. So what is the use of interrupts with a RC522 model? With interrupts you could achieve that uh, you have uh, all of uh, RC522 model functionalities but also you are going to be able to run some additional process in parallel. So before we continue I am just going to uh, edit this code a little bit. From previous episode we are not going to need this uh, FVB function and I am going to delete that function call from this part and also I'm going to delete this entire function because we are not going to need it. All right. What else? I'm going to uncomment uh, our uh, dump uh, to uh, serial call. Uh, and what else? I'm going to remove all of this code up to authentication. All right. So first what we are going to do, I'm going to define my I, IRQ pin and I'm going to set it to D, D2. Okay. Now I'm going to create one flag. It's going to be of bool type flag and I'm going to set it to false. Then we are going to uh, create interrupt uh, function is going to be of type I RAM underscore ATTR void and we are going to call it read my card. With this function we are going to do only one thing we are going to set our flag to true. Don't worry, I'm going to explain everything in details. Now go to your setup and first we are going to set pin mode for uh, our IRQ pin to input pull up. And now be careful at the end of setup function we uh, with this process we have a lot of housekeeping stuff so first what we are going to do with m m f r c 522 p c d write register what we have to do m f r c 522 com I and reg. We have to set it to 0x a0. And we are going to attach interrupt. Attach interrupt. Uh, digital pin to interrupt. It's this one. But we have to provide our pin IR. Q. Second argument is going to be our function that is read my card and mode is going to be falling. So with this uh, PCD function uh, we have to write uh, this byte into register in order to enable interrupt. So now whenever we press our card to our RC522 module this function is going to be activated so we are going to set a uh, flag to true and uh, down here in void loop. When we first we are going to check for our flag. So if flag we are going to execute our code uh, for uh, a reading uh, card. So I'm going to copy this entire piece in here and I'm going to arrange it a little bit. Oh, 
all right now uh, this piece of code it's uh, totally fine we have to add few things uh, before we continue to other part and in here uh, after dump to serial I want to add one more function call MR, uh, mfrc522 pcd write register now mfrc522 com in rec and in here we are going to set byte of 0x 7f with this function call we are going to say that we finished with uh, our interrupt and i'm going to set flag to false so what is going to happen whenever we uh, press our uh, card to our module this function my rec is uh, read my card is going to be uh, activated and we are going to set flag to true so next time when we are in void loop when we read flag true this piece of code is going to be executed so we are going to read content uh, from our uh, tag or card but now if a flag it's not set to true we want some uh, second process to be active so i'm going to create one integer variable let's call it counter set it to zero and now if our uh, flag it's not set to true what we want to do serial print ln or better print f and new line and i'm going to provide counter i'm going to rise counter by one and i'm going to make delay of half of second that's fine so whenever we don't have any card to read uh, we are going to print a value of our uh, counter and with every iteration that value is going to be uh, bigger by one and now at the end of our void loop uh, we also have some uh, housekeeping stuff for our uh, interrupt so first uh, function call is going to be mfrc522 p cd write register we have three uh, write register calls first is going to be uh, mfrc522 fi fo data rec that is this one and we are going to set it to mfrc522 pi cc underscore cmd underscore r e q a all right that's right so i am going to copy this function call and we are going to edit this second two second one it's command rec it's pcd transmit no it's not transmit it's trans receive sorry and third one it's bit framing rack we have to provide the binary value of 0x 87 so as i said this is a uh, housekeeping stuff so with every iteration of our void loop we have to uh, prepare our microcontroller and our model for interrupt okay now i'm going to save this and i'm going to build this code all right i'm going to upload this piece of code right now all right we are done and now i'm going to open my serial monitor let's see what we are going to get okay counter is working and now i'm going to uh, press uh, my card uh, to my rc522 model all right we are getting readings i'm going to remove my card and our counter is still working uh, so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new and something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya